We're going to calculate stock price for Illumina using prior financial information. Now, first we need the market cap of this company, and that is 54.832. And the stock price is 373.01. Okay. And now next is the free cash flow. And the best way to calculate the stock price for a company is to estimate future free cash flow and then discount those dollars back to today's value. Next we need net income, which is also part of the DCF model. And you can only really do a DCF model if a company has positive free cash flow and positive net income, which this company has, which is good. Because if it's negative, then it, the value of the stock is negative, which obviously can't be. Now we need to look at the capital structure of Illumina and figure out their discount rate so we know what to apply to the future cash flows. So the interest income is 50, interest expense is 52 million. Now let's see the debt, we'll go to the balance sheet. And the current debt, they don't have any current debt. Current liabilities is 1.1 billion. So they have a 4.56% interest rate on the debt. But interest payments are tax deductible, so let's find out their effective tax rate. That's 11.5%. So the cost of debt is 4.04%. So they only have 2% debt in their capital structure. That's pretty good. You want less debt. And the beta is 0.95, so we need to ca calculate the cost of equity using the CAPM model, and that's 9.62%. So the weighted average cost of capital is a blend of the cost of equity and the cost of, cost of debt, and that's 9.5%. And that means that's how much it costs Illumina to obtain financing, 9.5%. So Illumina needs to generate at least 9.5% of profit a year to add value to its investors. And if Illumina generated below 9.5%, it's not really adding value to its shareholders. And if they continue that for many, many years, it could eventually lead into bankruptcy. So that's something to look out for as an investor. Now we have the estimated future keep free cash flows. And then we discounted those numbers to today's dollars. And the sum of those cash flows is $25 billion. And when you divide that by 147 million shares, we calculate an intrinsic value of this company of $169. And it's currently trading at 373. So we consider this a sell. It's trading at 121% dis premium. So, so, the, so as you can see, was it even ever trading? Maybe three, three, four years ago, it was trading in the 160s. But the price of a stock, the price a stock is currently trading at is not always in line with its intrinsic value because investors may feel the future of the company does not warrant a stock price of 168. Supply and demand is saying the stock price is worth 373 and that's what drives the price, not what it's actually worth. And if you do your research, you may find analysts saying buy the stock, and then you might find other analysts telling you to sell the stock. But each analyst uses their, their own model and their own assumptions, but you never actually see the model. This is my model. This is my opinion. So I hope you liked it, and I hope you come back again for another video. Thanks for watching.